Hey, how's it going YouTube? I'm back in the video and today I'm going to be talking about where did Kendrick Nunn come from. And now if you aren't aware who Kendrick Nunn is, he is currently the starting uh, a starting player for the Miami Heat. And he, his story is just very, very interesting and like not a lot of people knew about him. And he just has a very, very cool story, especially once you start going into it in, like, in detail. And in this video, I'm going to be going to all the way back to his high school days, to his college days, to his early NBA career, and to all the way to the point to where he is right now. So I think it would be a pretty interesting video. And this is kind of a different type of video than I usually make on my channel. So if you do like the type of video and you want to see more videos like this, comment them below and leave a like in, on the video and mean the word to me. And without further ado, without running on too much, let's get right into this video. All right, so the first thing we get into for his video is going to be his high school and college careers. We're going to start off with his high school career where he attended Simeon High School in Chicago, Illinois, and he was a standout player for that uh, high school as he was a four-star ranked uh, prospect, and he was known for his quickness and his great jump shooting ability, and he received offers from teams like Arizona, Xavier, UCLA, and Illinois, among other teams as well. Well, but with him being from Chicago, Illinois, and his college, I mean, his high school being for in Chicago Illinois he ultimately chose to sign with Illinois and I mean he did have a decent career with Illinois where he stayed with them for three years all the way to his junior year and through those three years he was able to average 10.6 points per game 1.1 steals per game 1.6 assists per game and 3.3 rebounds per game so not horrible numbers but not great numbers either he was just a very good role player on that Illinois team but his junior year well, after his junior year, should I say he transferred to Oakland Go Golden Grizzlies University where he had a huge season averaging 26 points per game 1.5 steals per game four assists per game and five rebounds per game his senior year was absolute crazy and was by far his breakout year but his team only did go 19 and 14 but despite the uh, not team not having as much success as you would think that stat line and his great breakout senior year it was able to earn him horizon player of the year and i mean that was really just an uh, beast year in a very very big year for Kendrick Nunn and probably by far his best year up to this point in his basketball career but now we're going to start off in his NBA career as well now as I mean his he first played with the Santa Cruz Warriors in the G League and he did play pretty decent with them he didn't play bad at all he led them to the playoffs and he was able to have a very nice stat line averaging 19.3 points per game four rebounds per game and three assists per game along with 1.4 steals per game and and he really started showing that he could also be a two-way type player being able to play defense I mean averaging 1.4 silver games isn't amazing but it's just the beginning and he has become a pretty good defender as long side as scoring but he also shot the ball extremely extremely efficiently efficiently and he showed that that shooting percentage and that shooting that he was once recruited out of high school for is still around there and that he can keep these averages up at a higher level of basketball but then after that playoff um, run that he did lead the Santa Cruz Warriors on he signed with with the Miami Heat where in the summer league he had another breakout um, time of his life played extremely extremely good and was able to average 21 points per game during the summer league and he was able to lead the Miami Heat to a 3-0 record going into the playoffs and during the summer league and if he would he didn't play in the playoffs for the summer league so that's why they, I said only 3-0 he only played in three games but they went undefeated in those and he absolutely went off on them and played very very good and once again showed that he can still be an effective scorer and an effective all-around player playing against the mo the best young talent the league had to offer and some other pretty good role players as well he showed that he is still good enough not only to compete in the G League but also to compete at a high level against NBA level talent well then finally in the preseason this is real this is his first time competing against probably like real NBA roster and real NBA teams he went off against the Rockets in one of the preseason games where he he dropped 40 points on the Rockets and that was by far his breakout game it really put him on the radar for a lot of people and he just overall really played extremely well and that was by far his best preseason game but that's pretty much what got Miami he like okay he's good we, we're gonna like this guy and on opening night as an undrafted rookie he was able to get the start for the Miami Heat and I mean that is an extremely big accomplishment when an undrafted rookie can get a start on a team that is just extremely hard to do and not many players could do that and not only did he get to start he has excelled in that starting position as well as he's averaging 17 points per game 2.2 rebounds per game and three assists per game while shooting 45 percent from the field and 36 percent from the three while leading Miami Heat to a winning record so far this season so I mean 
by far, he's shown at every level of play that he is an effective player and that he can be a good player in every level. High school, he dominated. College, his senior year, he dominated. In the summer league, he led the um, Warriors to a playoffs where he also had a very good season. The summer league, he played out of his mind. The preseason, he played out of his mind. And now going into the actual NBA season against real NBA talent, he is once again playing at an extremely high level, uh, doing all the strengths are exactly right. He's what we thought he was. He's a very good shooter. He's been averaging very high efficient. Um, he's been shooting efficiently. He's just been doing very, very good things. He's a very good shooter. He can play defense. His passing leaves him a little bit to be desired. Same with his rebounding, but his scoring more than makes up for that. And I think Kendrick Nunn is going to be a very good player for years to come. And I can only see him improving with rebounds and assists and maybe even his points and maybe become a 20 point per game score by the time this uh, season is over. He's shown that he could be a very big piece of this Miami Heat um, run if they do end up making a run for the playoffs this year. But unfortunately, guys, that's going to be for Oh my god, I don't know what I just tried to say. But unfortunately, guys, that's going to be for this video. So comment below. Do you agree with me? Do you think Kendrick Nunn took this league by storm? Do you agree with me? Do I miss anything? Do you think I miss anything? And if you do want to see any videos like this in the future, comment that below as well and leave a like on this video. It'd mean the absolute world to me. But I mean, obviously, you don't have to. It would just be much appreciated. And I mean, I hope I really was able to make a good case for Kendrick Nunn and now that you know who he actually is and you got the backstory on him and you actually know how good and how effective this player is, especially on the offensive end. But like I said, that's going to be for this video. So if you did like the video at any point, like my subscribe button, it would mean the word to me. All glory to God. See you in the next video. Goodbye. Boom. Blah.